check the accuracy of the figures. Today, the State Minister for Finance, Henry Musasizi, appeared before the Budget Committee of Parliament to explain the revised budget for 2023-24 financial year. An adjustment of 1 trillion shillings was made to increase the budget up to 51.9 trillion shillings, down from earlier proposed 50.9 trillion shillings. Additional GOU resources. Now, from where? Okay. Is, is, is it bringing new bills, tax bills? Clearly see that the budget we pass, government is not able to raise funds to execute that budget. That's why we have the cuts, cuts, cuts. I don't know when we shall be bold enough as a country and say, this is what we can raise. Let us live within our means. Musa Sizi explained that government had received assurances of slightly over 700 billion shillings in grants and approximately 300 billion shillings through internally generated revenues. We have adjusted the UWA, Uganda World Drive Authority, projects to raise more, more revenue than we had, uh, we, we had anticipated at the time of submitting the budget. However, an extra 285 billion shillings introduced in the budget is dedicated towards COVID-19 pandemic, a move that prompted skepticism from the MPs. Is this money a donation, a grant, or we are going to borrow? If we are going to borrow, I don't think COVID now is our priority. The country might be interested to know whether we are expecting a new surge of COVID and we are preparing for it. Musa Sizi told the MPs that the money is a grant for readiness to emergencies drawing from lessons learned from the outbreak of the pandemic. We are uh, uh, putting more ICUs in our hospitals. We are rehabilitating our major hospitals uh, in the country and health centers. Then there were arguments about how to tag the three trillion shillings the government obtained from the central bank. MPs expressed concern that Bank of Uganda is involved in irregular lending activity. Clear. Mm. So you borrowed money from Bank of Uganda? Uh, no, we didn't borrow money from Bank of Uganda. So what how did you happened? get a debt with the Bank what of Uganda? What has happened was, the, because as I explained, sir, because of the timing, that they have to pay these liabilities on time. And Who's when our money doesn't uh, come in it, at wait, that time. Whose liabilities? Ours as government. That means you borrowed from them. No, no. What they have been doing consistently is that when Bank of Uganda pays all these things on their behalf, they collect this money from URA and eats it and, and spends it on other, other needs. And so Bank of Uganda continues to create a hole. However, Treasury officials defended the transaction as a normal activity for which government can obtain up to 10% of the budget. Bank of Uganda gives us advance specifically at the beginning of the financial year when we have not collected uh, revenue we normally get an advance from bank of uganda to the tune of the law allows us up to 10 percent however the treasury indicates to have committed to repay within a period of two financial years beginning with the next financial year about 1.2 trillion shillings has been allocated in the 2023-24 financial year. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament.